In December 2020, Code Enforcement Officer Jessalyn Harper discovered a garden hose connected to an abandoned building in Reedley, California. Upon entering the building, she found a suspected secret biological weapons laboratory run by Diabe Du, a Chinese fugitive and an official at a state-controlled company linked to the Chinese military. Harper found Chinese scientists wearing lab coats, around a thousand genetically modified mice carrying the COVID-19 virus, as well as thousands of samples of potential pathogens, including a freezer labeled Ebola. Inside the freezer, there were unlabeled sealed bags used for storing high-risk biological materials. The Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, has shown significant interest in Ebola. A declassified report from the Canadian Security Intelligence Service revealed that Dr. Tio Xiangguo, while working at Canada's only P4 laboratory in Winnipeg, sent the Ebola genetic sequence to China without authorization. Additionally, she sent samples of various Ebola virus strains and the Nipah virus to the Wuhan Institute of Virology. After collaborating with China's Academy of Military Medical Sciences, Dr. Tio was dismissed from her position and relocated to China, where she continues to work under pseudonyms. Dr. Shan Lin, former lab director of the viral disease branch at the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research, suggested that China may have enhanced the disease's contagiousness through gain-of-function research, an area of expertise for the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Brandon Weikert, author of Biohacked, China's Race to Control Life, stated that China's military has discussed weaponizing gene-editing tools like CRISPR-Cas9 and conducting gain-of-function research to turn illnesses into weapons. Ebola and Nipah, with laboratory modifications, could potentially be used by China to target the American population. Historically, General Qi Haotian, China's defense minister, reportedly gave a secret speech advocating for the extermination of Americans using disease to clear North America for Chinese settlement. Although unverified, the speech is considered a potential warning given subsequent developments like the COVID-19 pandemic, which was likely engineered at the Wuhan Institute and deliberately spread by Chinese leader Xi Jinping. The items found in the Reedley lab suggest that China is preparing to spread disease in the U.S. Weikert describes the lab as part of a larger Chinese military operation to infect Americans. China's military is also believed to be developing pathogens targeting specific ethnic groups. China's National Defense University mentioned specific ethnic genetic attacks in its 2017 edition of the Science of Military Strategy hinting at the potential creation of diseases targeting Americans exclusively.